Let's get fancy with some blending techniques and the new limited edition Mint by Michelle Christmas paper. Let's start with our fusion decoupage and transfer medium. This is a very thick gel. We don't want this to penetrate the papers because these are thinner papers. I'm going to thin it with just a brush full of water. I wanna thin my medium just a little bit. I'm gonna start applying my medium, maybe the top third of this space. Again, you'll notice that I have painted my surface with a light color. Because these papers are transparent, they will show through to the background a little bit. Use a brayer to press my paper into place and remove the excess gel. A little bit of the plastic wrap to help smooth out any excess wrinkles or bubbling. Remove any excess along the edge with a damp cloth. I'm going to pull my paper back just slightly back to this wet area and apply another coat of the medium onto my board. Gently press it into place. I use my brayer to remove any excess and then my plastic wrap to smooth out any little bubbles or wrinkles right over to the edge. I'm gonna let this dry completely and then show you how to handle these little hangover bits. Run your sandpaper at about a 45 degree angle over the edge to create a nice finish. I just went about picking out some fusion mineral paint colors that I thought I would need. Take my little um, sample sticks like this and I start to lay them out. What colors do I see? What things can I mix? Always, always want to start with casement and ash or casement and coal black. You can mix these with these other colors and blend and create um, different tones and shades. I'm just gonna pour some of these out. I don't know if I'll use all of these, but I'm gonna use some of them, and I'm probably gonna use most of them. And I know that this can be a little bit intimidating when you are um, approaching a project like this. The, the first thing that I'm doing right now is kind of scaring me a little bit. It always does. And I have to remind myself just like you have to remind yourself, um, it's only paint. We can always, always paint over it. First of all, I'm just gonna kind of test my Liberty Blue against this. See how it looks. I'm gonna add just a touch of black with it, but I really want this to be a nice, deep navy. but I'm just getting down my first layer. Start in a small area, something that maybe um, where you're just filling in an edge. The other key to this process of blending, I'm gonna add some of my color onto the Mint by Michelle paper. And right now it looks very different because it's, um, it's wet versus dry, but I also may need to adjust the color a little bit. Is you want to bring some of your paint color into, into the paper. Since I've got some of this dark and I see some darker areas right here, I think I'll just try to get a feel for the, the stroke work of the artist. I've just laid down this dark color, but you can see this is much more royal. So 
So later I'll add a little more Liberty Blue. I may blend that a little bit more. Why do I use Fusion? Fusion is um, has a built-in top coat. Um, and I can pretty much see the color that it's going to be as I'm painting it. It doesn't change color as much as it dries. I'm just laying down some of these basic colors. That is a little um, gray to me, so I don't like that. I keep baby wipes on hand so that I can adjust my colors easily by wiping off something that doesn't work for me. A perfect snowman. I'll continue to add different blues, different colors against the Mint by Michelle paper, blending over top of the paper as well. I use baby wipes to blend the paint and blot out any excess. Baby wipes are a great tool, as well as using your fingers to do some blending. Look at all the Christmas lights. How they paint this town in color. But they hold nothing next to you. Cause you're shining like no other. wrapped in paper No, I don't love four gifts of gold But I'll be home for Adding in clouds over the paper edge really helps to disguise it and blend in your painting with the Mint by Michelle paper. going to be other buildings here, right? They actually created another building. Kind of emulates the colors that are here. Not perfectly, but enough so. I like to look for other little details in the paper and add them to my painting and again, bring those colors over into the Mint by Michelle paper as well. Let's not wait another year. Add the windows by painting in little rectangles of your coal black or ash. Here I'm just extending the roof line of the existing building. I decided to add another turret to my extra building. I used Fusion Seaside, Homestead Blue, Azure, and a little bit of white. Outline the window shapes with white, uh, maybe a little bit of coral and a touch of the azure. And then the detailed panes can be painted in with black. Take 10 steps away from this and you'll never know that this was actually painted and embellished by hand. Use Fusion's pale gold metallic to spatter some pretty bright speckles. 
Then take a Q-tip and dab little spots of that same pale gold in the Christmas tree. I finished my tray by painting the outer edge with coal black and then adding several very light coats of Fusion Tough Coat, the gloss finish. And then add a couple of black screen door handle and enjoy your beautiful Christmas tray. Mint by Michelle papers and Fusion Mineral Paint products can be found at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar store in Medina, New York. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below if you want to see more content from LNJ Goods.